viewed some of my workout footage and goddamn, uh, none of it is good. Um, but I really enjoyed my workouts. They were super effective. I feel more alive than I did when I woke up. Uh, my teeth are just bothering me right now a lot. So sometimes I don't feel like I'm talking normal and I'm grinding a lot today. And like I said, I wear, um, this, um, mouth guard every time I work out. Matter of fact, I think it's inside, so I'll show you guys when I get inside. But it, it goes underneath your, your your jaw and stuff like that, and uh, right here, and lines up, and I just put that in there. But you see, I got some missing teeth. Right here. And these teeth are really bad. So I'm just grateful that I can do the workout. So I was at the gym, but I, I couldn't do the muscle-ups on the rings today. Honestly, guys, I don't think I even would have got to the muscle-ups. And so I did, was able to get a band on the bar. So let's talk about scaling, man. Uh, scaling's a beautiful thing. I say, uh, um, I'm, 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 I'm almost good, uh, perfect at the uh, art of scaling, which is hilarious because if it wasn't for scaling, I wouldn't be doing half of the moves that I actually do in CrossFit. So that's what you saw in the video there as I scaled. Um, the workouts helped me get those movements done. Um, I hope that I can't complete the RX workouts one day soon. I told you handstand pushes were something I was going to have to work on. And I think that if I improve my handstand push-ups, my health is also going to improve too. Now, when you see those handstand push-ups, you know, I feel extreme weakness in my shoulders and in the back of my neck. Um, you know, the first thing I felt, because I felt like I got sick during COVID, but no COVID, you know, I felt like I was poisoned, but never mind. It's like, you know, we live and we learn, but just in case you do feel like you're poisoned, if it crosses your mind and you wonder why, do not hesitate to go to the police, even if you don't think those fuckers will believe you. But I got sick somewhere along the way. And what happened, because I just want to talk about my experience, I suppose, who knows? Maybe that's what humans do. Like, you know, like it is what it is. So, you know, I can't stop talking about the shit sometimes, but I also can't stop. Um, I don't know. My brain's on fire with it and I'm trying to let it go. Um, but I'm working right now anyway. So it keeps me working, keeps me focused. Um, but I lost like uh, all feeling in my shoulders and arms. So I lost a lot of muscle my arms and I use the crossover symmetry a lot I'm gonna leave the link below I do not get paid for that um, but I, I use it almost religiously I could probably use the technique a little bit better but man I could not use my arms man uh, I felt like my arms were disappearing that's a scary feeling um, you know I wasn't always that proficient at handstand push-ups you know you do them one day then you lose them but um, I'm grateful that I feel like the muscle on my arms is building back up uh, and I got to get my, my triceps going. So I'm excited. Um, but man, uh, I've been doing CrossFit for a while. Um, I think I was grateful to, uh, I'm 34 now. So I was grateful to grow up doing CrossFit from a young age. I really, when I started, I wish I actually started younger because I grew up smoking cigarettes and shit like that. So it was just weird, man. Uh, the experience and, uh, I got really bad TMJ, uh, something I want to uh, put out there uh, that is tricky to do. Um, I, I feel like I'm in denial about a lot of this, but I'm just putting out there now and I've been really, I use CrossFit to better my mental health, but uh, you know, um, I think it, what it's doing is it's keeping me afloat, which is important, but this TMJ is horrible, man. Um, and the handstand pushups obviously help with that, but I dread them shits dread them shits boy like pistols <laughs> but i'm adapting to them and that's really cool i just need to get some bands underneath my shoulders again that's how i learned how to do fucking handstand push-ups i went to a gym before when i was younger and my man's you know i was like the jan i was so young you know i grew up as a fat chubby kid um just fucking around we'll get to all that another day man but um we still got two workouts left so i did the handstand push-up workout first the gymnastics workout before this like workout everyone's going crazy about with these uh these these box these burpee box jumps and wall balls so um i hope you guys get something out of these videos man I hope you get something out of the workouts if you're not working out i hope this gets you going it, it goes to show you that none of us are perfect 
Man, but there's there's something disturbing going on, guys, if you don't move. So I, I advise you to move. I advise you to sweat, even if you do it at home. Um, this may not be for all of us. You ain't got to do CrossFit, CrossFit. But, man, I just advise you to sweat it out. Um, maybe the, I think some maybe the sugar can, uh, is evil or making some of us bipolar. <laughs> but, uh, uh, man, these workouts uh, humbled me. I am grateful to be able to have done them. Every time I do these motherfuckers, man, I'd be thinking to God. I'd be like, shit, where are, what the hell is going on here? Uh... Cause I'd be going through it, um, so I'm, I hope I'm getting healthier, stronger, more efficient. But the TMJ, and so uh, those handstands against the wall, guys, man, um, that exposed a big weakness. But but that that shit hurts, and you want to be able to uh, get through that neck through, you know, um, and use that spine. So I look forward to just just stepping into the weak the weakness, man, stepping into the weak zone. And uh, continuing to rap, represent all the G's, man, all the OG's, all the all the, uh, the the younger generation coming up doing CrossFit right now. I'm so fucking pumped for it. So pumped for them. It reminds me of like some old school Roman. Sh- I don't fucking know, man, but I really enjoy it. Um, I got my own problems, man. I ain't running a a, a gym or nothing. Uh, and you know, uh, you know, just just keep these kids busy, man. Uh, you know, it's not like all of us are bad. It's just that, you know, some of us got energy, and energy has got to be. We're just, you know, I didn't always put my energy into great things. I smoked cigarettes growing up. I told y'all that. I think it's about city shit, and it's real. So you know, lead your people right. Um, have fun in the garden. I'm grateful for this day. And um, those fucking handstand fucking, those goddamn handstand push-ups, man. I cannot get over them. All right, so I think the battery on my camera is going bad. So the camera might die during this workout. I'm going to get it done um, because quarterfinals is over. And I'm like super glad I do not compete. Uh, Well, not like super glad, but I'm tired. And so I'm happy to just take my mind off of everything, but be able to actually focus on the stimulus. Um, I was really like tiptoeing through. Um, I think when the sun, you know, guys, when the sun comes out and the light comes out, there's just a lot going on with humanity, man. So I'm grateful for this. Uh, Check out the workout. We're going to do it right now. If you haven't done it, just shut up and go do it. Um, But I don't think that's the case with a lot of us anymore. So... um, I'm not looking forward to the thrusters I'm getting ready to do, but I'm also looking forward to seeing how these like parallel box jumps go. Um, You know, I'm not the strongest athlete, but I'm happy to be flexible and mobile. So I really just don't think about a lot of stuff. Um, As long as I can get a really good uh, jerk in there or something like that when the next workout comes out. But let's get this recorded. Um, Hopefully we can flow. And hope you guys are healthy and strong and we'll go from there because, you know, this started with the book reviews, spiritual warfare and such. Um, And there's other books that interest me. So that's coming up. Let's get a good workout. And I don't want to go jogging. So I just look forward to doing this anyway. And we're just I'm just not going to think about competing. I'm just going to compete in my own mind. I have a lot of stress. So it's one of the biggest reasons why I do CrossFit. Um, I'd be a big pansy sometimes and I get stressed. So uh, let's do it. All right. For like 50 miles. Not that that it's not good either. Um, but uh, this allows me to um, just obviously get back to my day really quick. But I'm looking forward to a really good sweat. I'm probably going to sweat like five pounds of sweat. Um, no strategy right now. We'll talk about it during the video and stuff like that. But uh, it's about two inches under the standard. And I don't know. I think these are going to mimic a good medicine ball, wall ball. And uh, we'll go from there. And then we got the last quarterfinals workout. And I am done. I'm not doing no semifinals. I don't know nothing about that. And I uh, horribly need to work on my gymnastics while I have muscles left. So I'll catch up with you. I hope, like I said, hope uh, if you're agitated, if you know me personally and you're agitated about your health, just realize that I work on my shit because I'm agitated about my health too. Okay, love you. Peace.